and the FHS graduating class of 1990. To understand us, it would be best to go back through the years and recount our time here at FHS. But to tell you the truth, I don't want to. Heck, we all spent three years in this haven. Why live in the past? But I already said I wouldn't talk about our beautiful futures, and now I can't talk about the past. So what am I going to say? I want to make this speech one that you want to remember, one you can recite to your grandchildren, one which will equal the Gettysburg Address, the day of infamy speech, and Mr. Sigmund's welcome to us three years ago. I could tell you about what a struggle it has been to get my speech ready without a senior week, but that's not my story. I've been left with little time in which to write a speech, as well as little to say. I guess I'll just wish you all the best. And by the way, just because I'm a valedictorian doesn't give me the right to advise you on the rest of your lives. However, I would like to say this. Be yourself. Don't be afraid of what others will think of you, and don't let them pull you down. Many of you know where your true potential lies, but are afraid to let it show because of what family and peers will say. What they think is not as important as what you think. You won't be happy doing something that you hate just because it is expected of you. As a manifesto for children by E. Paul Torrance, a great educator says, do what you love and can do well. Learn to free yourself from the expectations of others and to walk away from the games they impose on you. Free yourself to play your own game. Follow your dream, whatever they may be. We are all special people. All 361 Farmington High School grads as well as the 5.2 billion human beings on this planet. We're all special. Whatever it is, it's up to us. Now I'd leave, like to leave you with a few paraphrased words by Dr. Seuss from his book, Oh, the Places You'll Go. <laughs> we have brains in our heads. We have feet in our shoes. We can steer ourselves in any direction we choose. We're on our own, and we know what we know, and we are the ones who will decide where to go. It's been great pleasure this evening to introduce the honor graduates from the class of 1990, as well as the honor faculty by those graduates. In order of presentation this evening, our first honor gradu graduate is Jason E. Turner, and his honored instructor is Dorothy Munson of Hermosa Junior High School. Honor graduate is Glenn Carlos Narvaez Calderon, his honored instructor, Mr. Marvin McIntyre of Farmington High School. <laughs> honored graduate Jason Graham Schultz and Mr. Ken Watson of Farmington High School. Clark Seaman and his honored teacher, Mr. Leonard Mascarenas, high school high school.
Andrew and Chantel Lee Pierce and Mr. Gary Graham, Farmington High School. Honor graduate Christine L. Melgard and her honor teacher, Mr. Don Seibel, Farmington High School. Honor graduate Stephen L. Hall and his honored teacher and father, Mr. Ken Hall, Tibbetts Junior High School. <laughs> honor graduate Judith D. Katzer and her honored teacher, Ms. Sammy Waldrop, Farmington High School. Honor graduate Michelle Lynn Tortuccini and her honor teacher, Mr. Doug Poff of Farmington High School. <laughs> honor graduate Sean Christopher Waters and his honor teacher, Mr. Larry Guffey of Farmington High School. Honor graduate Amy Lee Foss and her honor teacher, Mrs. Arsalee Frost of Farmington High School. Honor graduate Melanie Jean Gray and her honor teacher, Dr. John Key of Farmington High School. Come on, John. Come on, John. Come on. Come on. Honor graduate Jeff C. Clark and his honored teacher, Ms. Tina Sorensen, formerly of Hermosa Junior High School. I'm going over to Mr. Pete. Honor graduate Tara Renee Rosenthal and her honored teacher, Mr. Jack Huntsman, Farmington High School. Honor graduate Daniel C. Bingham and his honored teacher, Mrs. Patty Roderick of Farmington High School. Honor graduate Anne Christine Keith and her honored teacher, Mrs. Sandy Sandrick of Tibbetts Junior High. Honor graduate Jill Nicole Bowen and her honored teacher, Mr. Mark Turner, Hermosa Junior High School. Honor graduate Jana Christine Fitz and her honored teacher, Ms. Charlotte Bradshaw, Apache Elementary School. Honor graduate Gina Michelle Cole and her honored teacher, Mrs. Barbara McCarty, Art Heights Junior High School. John, John, after this is over, I'm going to pan out. Honor graduate Monique Safalet and her honored teacher, Mrs. Jan Wing of Farmington High School. Honor graduate Mark E. Wolfer and his honored teacher, Mr. Jim Richardson, High Junior High School. Honor graduate Michelle Patrice Bynum, 
her honored teacher, Ms. Barbara Speck, well from Mosa Junior good. High School. <laughs> Honor graduate Jenny Lee Kennedy and her honored teacher, Mr. Robin Price, Farmington High School. Did you get Mark Wilford? and giving these honor graduates and distinguished faculty a great round of applause. Since the class of 1990, I would like to publicly honor two special people. These young men are among the state's most outstanding scholars. They have displayed their commitment to education by ranking number one and number two in one of Farmington High School's most academically talented classes ever. It is my pleasure to present valedictorian Jason Turner and salutatorian Glenn Narvaez, with awards honoring their achievement, would you young men come forward? <laughs> with a GPA of 4.314, Mr. Glenn Narvaez, number two in his class. Glenn is the son of Joe and Consuelo Narvaez. Glenn will go to MIT next fall. <laughs> Ranking number one in his class with a GPA of 4.379, Mr. Jason Turner, son of Ed and Michelle Turner. Jason will attend New Mexico Tech in Sapporo next fall. Ladies and gentlemen, Glenn Narvaez and Jason Turner. As many of you who are parents or grandparents uh, would probably know, and certainly it wouldn't surprise you to know that putting on graduation is, is stressful to the principal. Pitiful guy that I may be. It's one of those Murphy's Law things that uh, goes to the effect that if it can go wrong, it probably will. I felt a little better about things this morning, and maybe some of you heard it on the radio also. Uh, I heard that the United States Naval Academy had to redo their diplomas this year. And someone had misspelled uh, Naval. They spelled it N-A-V-E-L. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's true. Uh, 
I quickly ran to check to see if I spelled Farmington High School right. Uh, and I think that I'm all right. I think that I'm okay. Yes, that's right. I want to take this opportunity to thank all of the people who played a role in the development of these young people. Volunteers and youth activities such as scouting, boys club programs, summer recreation, sports activities, church youth groups, and on and on and on. I said often that we're fortunate to Dr. Miller, okay. President Tyler, members of the Board of Education, having met the requirements of the State of New Mexico and the Farmington Board of Education, I present these members of the Farmington High School class of 1990 as candidates for graduation. Would the candidates please rise and receive your diploma? Jason Turner. Lee 
Kennedy. Marie Lisa Payne. Chad Sherman Houghton. John David Coon. Christopher Rex Weed. Neil Monroe Paul. Kara Lee Hudson. Tony T. Parker. Marvin Phil Luna. Sandra Jean Weaver, Greg Douglas Whitford, Manuel Bueno, Vanessa Cook, Brenda Dalton, Brian Lovato. Mel Smith Dalton. Megan Craig. Kimberly Arlette Ellison. Matthew Dwight McGee. Travis W. Blue. Sherry Lynn Noy. Carrie Michelle McKinney. David Jerome Bueno. Lori Nicholas King. Susan Allen Montoya. Vicki Ann Cliff. Lauren Edward Gwinnett. Corey Ray Christie. Atlanta Carpenter, DJ Ray Hackett, Kevin Sedania, Jackie Janine Anderson, Barbara Cruz Rivers, Jose Carlos Corbett, Anthony John Montoya. Jennifer Christine Dewey. <laughs> Melissa Michelle Nelson. John Lewis Gimbal. <laughs> John Lewis Porter. <laughs> Andrew John Lewis. Dwayne Santiago Bay. 
graduated students, we are leaving our comfort zone to enter the real world. I found some words of wisdom from Robert Brogan that I'd like to share with you. As he writes, and as I somewhat paraphrase, all I really need to know about how to live and what to be and what to do, I learned in high school. Wisdom is not at the top of the graduate school mountain, but there in the sand pile at Sunday school. These are the things I learned. Share everything, play fair, don't hit people, put things back where you found them, clean up your own mess, don't take things that aren't yours, say you're sorry when you hurt somebody, wash your hands before you eat, brush, warm cookies and milk are good for you, live a balanced life. Learn some and think some, and draw and paint and sing and dance and play and work every day some. Take a nap every afternoon. And when you go out into the world, watch out for traffic, hold hands and stick together. And beware of wonder. Remember the little seed in the plastic cup? The roots go down and the plant goes up, but nobody really knows how or why. But we are all like that. And goldfish and hamsters and white mice and even the little seed in the plastic cup. They all die, so do we. And then they numbered the Dick and Jane books. And the first word you learn, the biggest word of all, look. Everything you need to know is in there somewhere. The golden rule and love and basic sanitation, ecology and politics and equality and plain living. Take any of those items and extrapolate it into the sophisticated adult terms and apply it to your family life, or your work, or your government, or in the whole world. And it holds clue, clear, and true, and firm. Think what a better world it would be if we all, the whole world, had milk and cookies at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and then laid down with our blankies for a nap. <laughs> or, if all governments had the basic policy, to clean up their own mess and put things back where they found them. And it is still true, no matter how old you are, when you go out into the world, it is best to hold hands and stick together. And now, and now, as my final performance to you guys, I've performed to y'all before. Um, um, <laughs>
thank you very much for the guidance that Sarah has given us all of our lives. And we thank you for 